Here are two examples of models I printed from Tabletop Simulator. Open Tabletop Simulator. Open the game you want to. Pick the figure you want to copy. Right click. Choose Custom. Here you can see the name. I memorized the last four ones. A1, F9. Open Documents, My Games, Tabletop, Mods. The models you have here and the textures you have here. So, A1, F9. Star, Fanny. Copy, rename, do the same with the textures, go to BB, okay, let's copy that. Open Blender. First, I want the size reference. I open a 32 millimeter base. Import your .obj file. And scale him up. To add details from the texture, we're going to use a displacement modifier. Go back to modifier. We don't want to scale down the strength a bit. To see the details, we need to increase the number of vertices. I press tab to go to um, edit mode. I use the subdivide. Let's crank up that two times. Okay, you can exit by pressing tab again. See the difference here? Let's crank it down a bit. Make a copy. I use Shift D for duplicate. Let's apply. Now we want to f fatten the thin parts that won't print. I go to the sculpting tab. I use this inflate tool. It's my favorite tool. And I just give the staff some. The thumb looks very thin. Okay. 
make sure you have the shader set to back face calling. This way you can rotate the models and find the holes. So there's a big hole in the bottom. Let's change that. Add a cube. Scale it up. Pick the mage and add a boolean modifier. Pick the cube. Cut the base off. Resupply. You can hide the cube now. Press here to lock it to uh, side mode. You want to uh, make the mesh transparent. Press tab to go to edit mode. Select the bottom, like this, pick face, fill. I exit the edit mode with tab again. Okay, looks kind of good. Pick export, STL, selection only, make sure it's filled. We're gonna see how the model looks in the Cura Slicer. Just ignore if the slicer complains about the model not being manifold. 